Assassination Records Review Board has completed its investigation into the 1963 assassination of John F. Kennedy. Later today, its report will be turned over to the White House and the agency will go out of business. NBC's Pete Williams has more. The report says nearly 30 years of official secrecy surrounding the Kennedy assassination has led many Americans to suspect that their government had something to hide. But for the past six years, a small group of scholars has used unprecedented power to dig up and release nearly 60,000 government documents. I do think we can now say to the American public that the government is not hiding files on the assassination of President Kennedy anymore. Congress set the scholars to work in 1992, responding to public suspicion stirred up by Oliver Stone's movie, JFK, brimming with conspiracy theories. The review board pushed federal agencies to take previously censored documents and release complete versions, like this memo tracking Lee Harvey Oswald, the presumed assassin. The board traced FBI files on Oswald back to 1959, when he tried to defect to the Soviet Union. The board also persuaded the FBI to begin analysis on a tiny bullet fragment found in the Kennedy limousine, an examination first recommended by congressional investigators 20 years ago, but never done. And the board uncovered new evidence that Attorney General Robert Kennedy was involved in a plan to overthrow Fidel Castro. But researchers who have studied the new document say there's more proof than ever that it was Oswald on his own who shot President Kennedy in Dallas. It's clear that Lee Harvey Oswald fired all the shots in Dealey Plaza that wounded Governor Conley and killed President Kennedy. And then in fleeing the scene, he killed a Dallas police officer, J.D. Tippett. Even so, all these new documents have not changed any minds among those who believe in one of America's most deeply held conspiracy theories. The photo photographic evidence, ballistics evidence, medical evidence indicates that uh, more than one person had to be firing at President Kennedy. The new report only documents the secrets newly disclosed. It does not take sides on what this evidence means. Review board members say they hope the lasting result of their work will be renewed public confidence in the government's commitment to the truth. For today, Pete Williams, NBC News, Washington. And here to discuss these latest findings are two men who have written books on the Kennedy assassination. Gerald Posner doesn't believe in a conspiracy theory, while Harrison Livingston says he still thinks more than one gun gunman killed John F. Kennedy. Gentlemen, good morning. Thanks for joining us. Good morning, Kate. Good morning, Let Kate. me start with you, if I could, uh, Gerald. Basically, this, this review board confirms what you've been saying all along. It, it, well, it confirms it in this sense, Katie. There's nothing in here. Four million pages of documents in the end that were previously secret. People are looking for the smoking gun. Where is it? You know, is there evidence the mob was involved? Was the CIA involved? Instead, what it does is it's important for what it doesn't show. It doesn't show any mob involvement. It doesn't show Oswald having any link to the CIA. It's also important for what it does show. It shows exactly what I said five years ago in my book, that the FBI and the CIA had a massive cover-up, not of an assassination, but trying to cover up their own bureaucratic reputations. And in so doing, they didn't serve the Warren Commission correctly, nor serve history, and they laid the groundwork for a lot of conspiracy speculation. So you agree, obviously, with the findings of the Warren Commission, but you understand why many people did not trust the way they did business. Absolutely. Not only did they do it in secret, they held secret hearings. They issued a report at the end. They didn't give any of the underlying information, but they made significant mistakes. They had the shooting sequence wrong at Dealey Plaza. They didn't aggressively look at Jack Ruby's mob connections. And now we found out years later that they were lied to by the agencies who were supposed to be doing the investigative work. No wonder people didn't trust them. But when you reinvestigate the case, you find out for all those shortcomings, they did in fact come to the right conclusion, Oswald alone. All right, L Mr. Livingston, let me bring you into this. Do you think this conclusion that's been drawn by this board, does it, it blow a hole in your conspiracy theory at all? Uh, Katie, I regret that uh, Joe Posner completely misstated the facts. The board did not draw any conclusions. That was not in their mandate. Uh, the papers that were collected uh, are mostly well known, but they were redacted to protect sources and methods and pri privacy of individuals. What the board did that was stunning was to re-interview the doctors and then go down the chain of evidence in the autopsy evidence and give us this raw material, which they did on July 31st. These new interviews and depositions show conclusively that the autopsy was faked and that the photography is false and that the official pictures in the archives, as stated by George Lardner in the Washington Post on the 2nd of August, are false pictures. The woman who processed them at the Naval uh, Processing Center in Anacostia 
has stated that the official pictures uh, in the archives uh, were not the pictures that she developed and they're completely different from the ones that she worked with. Uh, Gerald Posner has never done his homework in this case. He doesn't understand the evidence and what Mr. Lazar said is quite correct that all of the ballistic and medical evidence as the doctors tried to tell the Warren Commission, tried to tell the House of Select Committee on Assassination, does not coincide with these photographs uh, and x-rays. You, you know, Katie, here's what's interesting about this. Five years ago, I presented a book in which I said Oswald did it alone, and I gave you the evidence as to why it's right, including the autopsy x-rays and photos and all the evidence. What people like Livingstone do is very interesting. Once they saw that, they said, oh, God, you know, gee, maybe that's right. So as a result, we have an answer. Guess what? All that evidence is faked. The Zapruder film, the home movie, the assassination is faked. You can ask him that. That's what mm -hmm. he thinks. The autopsy photographs are faked. They've been tested every way to Sunday, and they're real. And what he just said is absolutely false about what the review board has given. What it actually shows is that Bobby Kennedy and the Kennedy family were there the night of the autopsy on the 17th floor of the building in Bethesda. They were pushing the autopsy doctors to finish this work as fast as they could, and they were petrified that the autopsy doctors would discover in their examination of the body that President Kennedy had Addison's disease, which is a potentially fatal disease, and they would make that public. And as a result, they hid things up in the autopsy. The autopsy is terrible. It was boxed up. As a result of the Kennedy family pushing it along, we now understand better ever than why. But the statements that these materials are false is just completely wrong. He can say it all the way to Sunday, but it's not going to make it true. I regret that uh, Mr. Posner has not read the documents that were released by I this have, court in on fact, the 31st. I have, in fact, read them. I have the entire they, box they, of material on please, it. Please, I listen to you. Now, those uh, interviews and depositions quoted by both the Associated Press, uh, the photographer who took the pictures says that the photographs of the brain are not his pictures. Uh, the uh, photographs of the body are stated by the person who developed them not to be uh, the pictures that she developed. All of the doctors, all of the medical witnesses have insisted that the wounds are not in the correct place. Do you think the, the, the Zip, I was going to ask you, Mr. Livingston, do you think the Zapruder film is faked as well? That, uh, Katie, that film is the biggest hoax of our lifetime. Uh, it's unfortunate Mr. Posner, who is speaking for about 5% of the people that have studied this case in the public, uh, who accept the official story, which Gerald Ford himself uh, uh, discounted last year when he admitted uh, to the board that the uh, bullet wound in the back has been moved some six inches and he changed the language of the report in order to have that bullet uh, come out President Kennedy's throat uh, having come down from that sixth floor window and strike John Connolly. The most important point here, uh, Katie, is that Oswald didn't shoot President Kennedy. There was a large ambush around that car and this conspiracy came from uh, right-wing forces in Texas uh, that we're looking at today. They have sought to control the political uh, future of this nation. Okay. And the key to it is in this medical evidence. And the truth is that this board has given this nation the biggest story of our lifetime because it re-interviewed the medical witnesses, and that evidence is quite conclusive. You find it in my new book at, on page 403. Okay, okay gentlemen, <laughs> enough promoting your books. Obviously, the, the findings or, or the material exposed by this review board will not placate a lot of conspiracy theorists like Mr. Livingston. I agree with that, Katie, but nothing's going to placate them. You're never going to convince the Oliver Stones of the world or the Livingstons of the world that, in fact, there's an answer to this case. We may never come to a consensus on this as a nation, but I do think that reasonable thinking people who want to approach this case and look at the credible evidence can realize what likely happened in Dallas 35 years ago, that one person for his own motivation killed the president. All right, we're out of time. Gerald Posner, Harrison, Livingston, you all can talk about this amongst yourself, as they say, yourselves. Thanks so much for joining us. It's 721. We'll be back in a moment. But first, this is Today.